Good morning. Thank you so much for waking up with us here on this Wednesday hump day, the 14th day of September. I'm Alicia Smith. And I'm Keenan Smith and uh, this morning and all day long, you know, we are going to be live uh, down here at the auto show. It has been three years since uh, we've had the auto show, but now it is back. And this morning I'm live outside Huntington Place, just one of the places where all that fun is set to begin. Now, for the past three years, Metro Detroit has patiently waited for the auto show to return to downtown Detroit after having to cancel the event in 2020 and 2021 due to the coronavirus. The auto show is finally kicking off its grand vision for an expanded show that incorporates multiple locations across downtown Detroit. And this year's auto show is not only happening at Huntington Place, but also expanded attractions at the riverfront, multiple events in Hart Plaza and other locations. And of course, this year will also serve as a way for the major North American auto show, auto companies rather, to share their vision of the future that relies heavily on electric vehicles. And of course, the auto show is known to lead to some huge uh, visits, and this year is no exception. Today is media day, and President Biden is making a visit to the show. He's expected to highlight the recent boom in electric vehicle manufacturing. The president, of course, has never shied away from his love of electric cars. During a visit to Ford's electric vehicle plant in Dearborn, he tested out Ford's F-150 Lightning. The president also taking a tour of GM's factory, uh, GM's uh, assembly plant last year after the automaker kicked off its transition to EV production. The state of the art facility is GM's second EV plant in North America and will play a key role in that company's plan to pivot from gas powered cars. The president also got behind the wheel of GM's all electric Hummer for a test drive and burned some rubber outside that factory. So the president having a little fun. I don't think he's going to burn any rubber inside, of course, today. But, you know, with Joe Biden, you never know. It wouldn't shock me uh, if you saw him inside one of those electric vehicles. Now, of course, another thing that the uh, auto show is known for, especially on media day, are those big reveals. And the fun actually started last night. Yesterday, in front of the Spirit of Detroit, Stellantis unveiled a brand new Chrysler 300. It's expected, though, to be the end of an era for that vehicle. It's the last model for this generation of Chrysler 300. Well, the uh, Chrysler 300C includes a 6.4 liter Hemi V8. Now, only 2,000 of these vehicles are going to be produced here in the U.S. If you want one, you're going to have to reserve it online. And of course, we're going to have plenty of coverage of the auto show here all morning long. Right now, you can scan the QR code on your screen and it'll take you directly to our webpage, which has everything you need to know in order to enjoy the auto show this year. And of course, there is a lot to enjoy. And don't forget, we're going to bring you all the highlights from the Detroit Auto Show with two special broadcasts. Now, the first airs at 730 tonight, and that's placing a spotlight on new automotive technology. And then Friday, we're going to bring you live coverage from the Red Carpet Charity Preview, which will begin at 7 right here on 7. And you don't have to wait. There's already some excitement down here, Alicia. You know, yeah. you're seeing crowds uh, gather uh, at Huntington Place, people waiting to get inside. Of course, with the uh, president here, uh, the Secret Service has been sweeping the building, so folks have been waiting on the outside, but the crowds are gathering to get inside. You have lots of folks here, media, more than a thousand members of the international media here for today to get a look at this show that has been uh, three years in the making because of the pandemic. That's right. C cannot wait for all the crowds to come in this coming Saturday. And of course, the red carpet charity preview this Friday night. Uh, we right. really appreciate your live coverage this morning, Keenan. We'll check back in with you in just a little bit.